Hello everyone, Silver Conundrum here. So, I come to you with another video. A video of nothing but magic. Magic. What is in the bag? It's my lunch, a hamburger, chicken nuggets, or silver. Eh, let's just, let's just be honest. There's silver in this here bag. So, let's get on to it, guys. I got a chance to go to my local coin shop today. And the previous video that you guys may have seen was when I did my $10 a week challenge. While I was down there, I made this purchase right here. And this purchase right here is what I went down there, down there to go get. Now, I want you guys to see what's in this bag. And I got something in this bag right here that I have never in my entire career of stacking have I ever purchased on my own without it ever being gifted to me or with it ever being handed down to me by my father now this is a first and some of you may freak out some of you may cheer and some of you may just hold your head down in shame at the just a pure disgust of what i have done so let's get on with this shall we let me just zoom out just a little bit let's look in the bag just a little bit you guys see in there? No? Oh, well, we're just going to do it like that. I'm going to pull it off to the side. So, guys, the very first thing I got is a very nice, very, very nice 2006 San Francisco PCGS 69 San Francisco Old Mint. Look at this thing, guys. This right here is a $1 coin. 90% silver. Now, this right here is in honor of the 1906 earthquakes that hammered San Francisco back in the day, guys. This right here, the Old Mint, the Granite Lady, you guys have not heard of this. You definitely need to do your history and do your research on this. I will do a video on this coin one day for you guys because the history of this right here is just phenomenal. So I, I picked this up right here, guys, for $28. Not bad for a slab. So, so this is a proof 69 Look at that, guys. All right, so that's the first one. All right, you guys ready for the second one? Let's see what we got in here. Oh, oh, say it ain't so. Oh, say it ain't so. What is this? Look at that, guys. It's the White Horse of Hanover. Don't tell the unicorn stacker. She does not know I have this coin. This is a secret. Shh. She will try to steal it. She is trying to collect all of these to go with her unicorn coin. But this is a two ounce silver coin. And this right here is from the, uh, what's that called? The Queen's Beast series. I spent $28 an ounce, so I guess that would be, what, $56 for this thing, guys? Not a bad price. Not for the 2020, anyway. Look at that, guys. This is the 2020. It is... God, there it is. The Unicorn Stacker doesn't know it, but she's probably going to get this for her birthday coming up next month. So, we'll just set that off to the side. What else is in this bag, folks? Uh, well, just your basic, I guess, Liberty. Is that a fake? Eh, it's one ounce. Yeah, Walking Liberty 2000. But guess what? It's dawn of a new millennium. One ounce. Three nines fine silver. Not a real one, folks. But it's just a replica. And it is real. It has been verified. But look at that thing right there. I got this because, well, it's unique. I don't have 
a replica with this kind of um, thing on it, guys. Look at that. It's just really cool. All right, what else is in here? Oh, we'll save that one for later. Oh, here we go. To all my stacking brothers in Arizona, I actually bought this in honor of you guys. And did y'all know what? It actually has a sister. It has a kid brother, kid sister, whatever you want to call it. And I got the uh, copper to go with it. Not bad. One ounce copper. One ounce silver. Look at that, guys. All that right there was $28 for the uh, silver and $2 for the copper round. So 30 bucks for these two things. Not a bad deal. So for all my Arizona brothers, I bought this in honor of you. AG Sky Flyer, all of you other folks, you know who I'm talking to. And don't forget, I didn't forget about you either, Fred. You're there. Now, here's something. So we always talk about pocket silver, right guys? Like what do you carry in your pocket? Well, guess what? I found my new pocket silver. Look at this right here. You know how people always go heads or tails, heads or tails? Well, I found one. It said uh, silver's executive decision maker. Forget it. Silver executive decision maker. Go for it. So whenever you flip it, depending on what you do, go for it. Ah! Ha ha. Go for it. And that's the third time I dropped this thing. I might not want to carry it around. I might destroy it. And I keep going for go for it. But you guys get the idea. I mean, look at that. Can you guys see how that could be used as not just a conversation piece, but as a doorway to talk to other people about silver, to be a silver ambassador? Don't you guys think this would be a really good idea just for that? Because God knows I just bought this only for that one reason. You know what? I just noticed it too. That's Liberty Mint 1985. So guys... This right here will be a nice little addition to the pocket carry. It'll replace my old one. Now, I've got a few other things left that I want to show y'all. So, as you guys know, I like to collect things too. I'm not just a stacker, but I'm also a nismatic type person. This right here is a George Washington 250 anniversary 1982 half dollar look at that guys this thing is impeccable still in the original wrapper just beautiful 90 percent just something really neat to have just a nice little conversation piece another piece for you guys Again, because I like things. This is a, another collector's piece. Now, mind you, it's not the greatest collector's piece. But this right here, this right here is the uh, Colombian half dollar United States of America. Look at that right there, guys. If it wasn't so beat up and wasn't so worn in the hairline through here, it'd be worth a little bit more. But it isn't. And so, therefore, that's what it is. Another thing is, it's got this right here on it that's pretty messed up and if you look right along this edge you can see where it's pretty messed up there too and then on the on the sails how you got all those nicks and the lines in the sails are pretty much worn off too but this coin's from 1893 eh, it's an anniversary here so what do you expect so this right here is the Colombian see if I can make that up the Colombian exploration uh, what was that? Chicago World. Oh, there it is, right there. World Columbian Exploration Chicago. And I was not mistaken. I remember when we looked it up in the book today, it came from the World Fair. 
but it's from 1893. So guys, that's another little piece to the stack. And for all of my uh, British brothers and whatever, Austrian brothers, I'm not sure where this actually comes from, but this right here is, what's it here, Republic Oster Austria. Okay, so this is the Republic of Austria. 50 shillings. Now, guys, this is my first coin that ever had 50 shillings on it. First piece of actual silver like this. And what I bought it for was because of all the shields, all of these right here on it, man. This thing is beautiful. And I seen this in somebody else's video, and I wanted one. And I just could never find it. But this is what it is, guys. This is from 1974. I'm trying to figure out how this thing actually goes. I guess it goes maybe like this right there. There it goes, just like that. But this thing right here is just beautiful, guys. I couldn't say no to it. And then here's what, what it says on the ends, too. It's got some sort of writing. I don't know what it says. I'll have to look it up because my uh, language skills are not great. 50 shillings. Oh, I guess it says 50 shillings. So maybe it says 50 shillings all the way around it. Any of my Austrian brothers are out there? Maybe y'all can help me with this. Anyway. Now. I have something. That I bought. I bought this in honor of one person. Golden Gun. Golden Gun. This is for you, brother. You ready? Nothing fancy. It's super small. But. Let's get this thing turned around. There it is. A Peruvian. One eighth ounce. Or one eighth. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever that is. But it's gold. And I got it for a really decent price. Not too shabby. But I bought this, brother, in honor of you. Because I know you love gold. And everything I keep showing is silver. So, with that being said, my friend. This right here is bought in honor of you. But you know what, guys? This might be finding a new home later. I don't know yet. Just all depends on what happens. So, just so I can put things in perspective to you guys, I want to show you all how small that really is. This is a 50 cent piece. This is that piece of gold. Do you guys see the comparison? That is tiny. I mean, look at that against my thumbnail, guys. Look at that. Yeah, I'm not trying to flip y'all off. Look. My pinky nail is bigger than this thing is. Can you believe we fight wars over this? We kill over this, guys. Such a small little thing. But anyway. Oh, there it goes. I was trying to get a better look, and I did it by accident. Anyway, Golden Gun, this is for you, brother. I couldn't resist it, man. Love your videos. I love you. Love all the stories you always tell us, especially sitting around the campfire. Anyway, guys, I'll catch y'all later, everybody. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you want anything, let me know in the comment section below. And guess what? If you want chicker, or chickers, stickers let me know my email is in the description channel guys check it out and you too could have stickers from some guy on the internet <laughs> anyway folks 
I hope y'all have a great day. Oh, in case you guys were wondering, here's what was spent. Because I like to show you guys what I spend on stuff. This came from Bill's Corn and, and Jewelry Exchange. I bought this on the same day I did my, my $10 a week challenge. And the reason why I did that was it had to be worth my while going down there. So, um, the 2006 Old Mint Silver was $28. The 1 8th uh, Peruvian Gold was $83. So, I guess that's a 20th of an ounce. Uh, the two uh, common dollars, which would be the two half dollars, came to a total of $23. So, one was $10 and one was $13. Uh, the silver shilling was $10, and the five ounces of silver came to $135, which was $28 an ounce. So, guys, like I always tell you, check out your local coin store. They will treat you right if you treat them right. They have a business to upkeep. You have a stack to keep going. So, with that being said, you guys have a lot in common. Anyway, guys... I'll catch y'all later. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Like Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Golden Gun Brother, I hope you like the gold. Everybody, later.